Hello and welcome. I am your host, JP John Posh, the two man power trip. And of course, I'm wearing these sunglasses not to be cool. Got a, a double eye infection going on here. I know there's some schmucks out there that wear the sunglasses on their head while they're podcasting or wear sunglasses, but I'm doing this for uh, my eye purposes. Very uh, sensitive issue going on with the eyes. I just want to get that out of the way right away. But of course, we're here with the guest, the of honor, the uh, the star, if you will, the former ECW and WCW tag team champion, one of the greatest minds and bookers ever in the history of the business. The games master, the task master, the devil himself, Mr. Kevin Sullivan. Kevin, how are you doing today, sir? Great. JP, great. Uh, yeah, uh, I've I, as you and I have talked about, I've had a an eye problem lately, and boy, it really bothers me. So I'm gonna next week go with a very big eye specialist. But I'm sure you're gonna be okay, my friend. Yes, yes. Hopefully, uh, quicker than than later, sooner rather than later. Hopefully. Yeah. But I know you've probably been spiked in the eye by Mark Lewin or, or somebody. I mean, I'm sure there was some damage. Benoit, I mean, somebody probably got you. That's what absolutely happened. I did get spiked in the eye by mistake. The guy came with a spike, and he went to spike the my opponent, missed me, and hit me in the eye. And that hurt like hell. Well, who was the opponent? The opponent was a guy that Brutus knew that was, this is years ago, about eight years ago, that did uh, those podcasts, not podcasts, uh, you know, toy toy conventions. And uh, he had, Brutus got my job and he had a, a partner and the partner went to, stabbed me and missed him and got me so wasn't happy at all wow damn who was your partner your partner was brutus no i was in the single matches oh they, they put us all in to greg valentine and nikolai volkov and uh, a host of other guys i think uh Michael Hayes was there and a few other guys, but it didn't work out for the best for me. What year was this? Eight years ago. Wow. So you're still hanging and banging that, that, yeah. at that time. Wow. Yeah. 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 You know, oddly enough, I got a butt dial or maybe, a, maybe it could have been a drunk dial. Who knows? But a call from beefcake the other night. So I called him back and when I woke up the next morning, he said, Oh, sorry. It was by accident, brother. Hope all's well, but I thought that was funny. You know, you wake up and you see missed call from Brutus to Barber Beefcake. Yeah, yeah. Has that ever happened to you? Oh, I've, I, I've misdialed a lot. Yeah, but have you ever have you ever gotten a butt dial from Brutus Beefcake? Um, I'm I'm sure I have somewhere down the line. <laughs> I just I was just. Weird waking up and like, wait, you know, you check your phone in the morning when you wake up and you see, wow, Brutus the Barber Beefcake missed call. I wonder what this was all about. Then, ah, all for naught. Yeah. Yeah. But as far as today and today's topic, what we really want to talk about was Bill Goldberg really focusing in on after the streak because we talked about the streak. We talked about how the streak ended. We talked about, you know, was it good? Was it bad or not? Looking back, though, the streak itself, and, and you read all this stuff online, even Jericho adds to it, like, oh, the number was so made up, and oh, that really wasn't 173-0. and Remember, we went back and we looked. It was about 155-0, and so it was maybe 18 guys off. So, I mean, the streak wasn't that far off, right, as far as the actual number of it? No, it didn't seem to be that far off. It was bad as we looked back. It looked like it was pretty close. So, I mean... You know, but there was history there with Chris and Goldberg and uh, Regal and Goldberg. There was a few few guys that were discontented. Why? A, a little bit of professional jealousy, maybe? This guy's getting a big push, and those guys have been around the world and, and back? Sure, sure. Yeah. 
when you look at the Goldberg streak, like we said, so many people, and even still to this day, will hang on that it was exaggerated, even though you could literally look it up. I mean, you could, you, they, if you go to many different sites, they always have the match listings, and you just got to be able to do some math and add it up. I believe it was either 155 or 156 and up. So it wasn't that illegitimate as far as 173. Okay, you know, it's pro wrestling, you exaggerate a little. It wasn't that far off. Yeah, it wasn't that far off from Mike Tyson's numbers. Even though Mike Tyson actually fought guys, they were nowhere near being, well, unless the guy had a machine gun to beat Tyson. Tomato it can. Yeah, it wouldn't have happened. When, when you look at Goldberg, is that the idea, Tyson? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, and he's done what every American loves to do, bring someone back from the non-living. You know, he had messed up so many times and he became very successful. When you look at the Goldberg streak, and we, we've talked about this before, very reminiscent of Tyson's streak, how he's just blowing through everybody, uh, you know, kind of a squash here and a squash there, and he's just destroying guys. When it comes to end the streak, I know you're not a, you're technically a part of it. Did you have any say into the end of the streak or no? No, no. At this time, I didn't. No, I was definitely against. The what was your, what was your role at that point? I was assistant for Kevin Nash. So did you tell Nash like, ah, that's not the way to do it, brother? Or, or, or yeah, not? yeah. I gave my words. Kevin and I are close. Uh, but I would go if that's how Kevin thought. And there's some validity there because, like I mentioned just recently, people were jumping out of their seats when Nash won. Nash was the coolest dude in pro, pro wrestling. When you look at kind of the way it was done with the cattle prod and Luis Piccoli and Disco and Hall, I mean, everybody, the mother comes out, a big low. I mean, everybody, the mother comes out and cheats, and then Nash gets him. It makes Goldberg look strong, but, and then in essence, it kind of doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. You're absolutely right. 